my name is Max Adler. I'm playing Baker Johnson in the film Believe Me. Baker is pretty much just a big kid. He's a big teddy bear. It, like, my analogy for him was that he's kind of this snowball that just rolls, 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 and like becomes just like this big mound of snow and just goes without thinking about consequence or just forgets everything that happened in the past and just is always moving forward. Every guy, the four guys to me, represents a different point of view. And in a lot of movies, I feel like it can, movies can tend to be preachy or you kind of bang you over the head with the writer's point of view or the director's point of view and you're like, I get it, I get it. That's what's so brilliant about this movie and that's what attracted me to the script. It's kind of about morality and questions of, you know, your moral compass, your moral code. I think it's such a funny, smart, such a well-written script and it's you know, so tight and the characters are so well-developed. But for me, it's like the humor kind of breaks down those walls of making people like uncomfortable or like decide if they want to uh, say yes or no, or is this right, is this wrong? You know, it, it's not polarizing, like it doesn't make people take sides. It just makes it universal because if people can laugh at it, then it's just that more comfortable like ease into this kind of world. But as long as you're laughing, it's, it's you know, uh, inviting and not alienating. For me, it's, it's story first. Like, if it's not on the page, it's not gonna translate to film. Um, and I believe it was John Favreau who, who said in a great interview that it was like for all actors to make a decision if you're gonna do a project or not. He's like, you can, you can have a bad script, a bad director, or a bad cast. But it's like, if you, if you have more than one of those things, like, don't do it. Um, and for me, it's like, this had, all three was great because it was like I fell in love with the script and then I met Will in LA and was so impressed at the first reading with him like just the notes he gave and, and like how uh, detailed and, and like into it he got and then when I found out that Chris McDonald was on board and Alex Russell was on board everything just lined up so there really wasn't any hesitation in my mind at all I mean it's just exciting it's just it's one of those things where like there's nowhere else I would rather be